called me, those that tried to reach out to me, because so many people from the UK reach out to people that they know that are close to me, and they told me, Flower Boy, see, this guy is only trying to help. I don't know him from anywhere. I don't know him. I have not seen his video. I have not gone across his video. You understand? So I want to say a very big sorry to Don Dada, Pastor Don Dada. I want, um, I want to say, please, please forgive me. And for the course you did on um, one of my boys, Uzi, please, I'm begging you because for the past few days, Uzi has not been, has not been feeling fine. It came to pass like in the days of the old. See on this video background how they were molesting, bullying, and pushing a genuine prophet of God around. The beat up put tears in our eyes at Kibris God's talent. We were crying as we were watching the scene. We questioned in our midst, is it because this prophet of God appeared simple in dressing and they looked perhaps small size to their visual that made them belittled him? Okay, we have no issues if it were only neglection and the underation but got concerned over how Pastor Destiny was bullied by the Flower Boy servants. Meanwhile, if Flower Boy hadn't fueled the push around by him too, pushing off Pastor Destiny and let his boys know that every human being deserves a certain level of respect, his boys wouldn't have speed up their aggression on a servant of Almighty God who hasn't done anything silly or bad, but was only trying to save you, flower boy, who never welcomed God into your building. Pastor Destiny was patient enough, even overlooked many acts in the process, yet wanted to deliver a message to people who refused to pay an attention to him. Why beating up a genuine man of God? Why beating a man of God? To be honest, the art we saw was insane and unbelievable. Coming from who we have described as an icon who hasn't acknowledged that God made him. Maybe due to the lack of vision and the understanding. As the Holy Bible recorded these tools that people without them are perishing. Now, the particular one among flower boy servants who beat up Pastor Destiny more often without backing down is in the sick bed today. He is being in the sick bed from the next day. Let us remember that Pastor Destiny cursed him and he said, Sickness shall come not only upon him but also upon his entire generation. They laughed over this comment, they mocked, and they thought it was coming from a normal human. Since this began to happen, Flower Boy has developed a sudden fear in him. Hey guys, so um, two to three days ago, I made a post concerning this, um, this guy. I don't know he was a pastor. I want to say a very big sorry to um, Don Dada. I don't know if he's pastor Don Dada. I want, um, I want to say, please, please forgive me. And for the course you did on um, one of my boys, Uzi, please, I'm begging you because for the past few days, Uzi has not been, has not been feeling fine. And uh, many people who mean well to Flower Boy have equally placed a call across to him and advised him if he want to be all right by himself he should immediately begin to look out for pastor destiny and to apologize to him this is not about bragging i am too big i am wealthy i have money i am mad it is about humble yourself because the wrath of god is bigger than you his boy in the sick bed began to feel unwell exactly one day after he beat up Pastor Destiny, as though that prophet of God did something wrong to him, as though he knew him from Adam. 
despite he warned them, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. But they wouldn't listen. And now the cursed servant cries, watch. The, the problem there is that so many people keep coming to the house. So many people keep coming to the house since the day that they were trying to demolish the place and we made a video concerning the house. So many people keep coming there from Monday to Sunday. We have nothing less than 30 people a day coming to, to the house there in Centenary. So guys, it, it hasn't been easy because most of them just come to the store. Most of them come to pretend some who... Another person has, has come, I'm, I'm, I'm apologizing in this video. Another person came before, a woman came and knelt down there and when it's time for us to sleep, she'll start shouting, start praying and, and stuff like that. So we've been seeing different things. I'm, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer. I have a pastor too, you, you, you understand. So when when I saw that stuff, he, he was just looking like a random person. I did not mean for them to, to push him or to, to make him feel bad. He has been in that place for more than one week. He has been in that place for more than one week and he has been disturbing. But I want to say a very big thank you for all those that um, insulted me. God bless you too. For those that called me, those that tried to reach out to me. Because so many people from the UK reach out to people that they know that are close to me. And they told me, Flower Boy, see, this guy is only trying to help. I don't know him from anywhere. I don't know him. I have not seen his video. I have not gone across his video. You understand? So I want to say a very big sorry to Pastor Don. That I, want, um, I want to say, please, please forgive me. And for the course you did on um, one of my boys, Uzi, please, I'm begging you because for the past few days, Uzi has not been, has not been feeling fine. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just normal malaria or if it's because of what you said to him. But I'm, I'm begging. I'm begging. If you can see, this is, this is Uzi here. This is Uzi with him. This is Uzi here with him. So, guys, please. If you guys know him, tag him under this video. I would like him to come. If, if you are in any states, if you are in any state, there are so many comments. I'm, I'm going to be putting so many comments on the screen so you guys can see what people say that people told me, those that insulted me, those that asked me, those that cautioned me. I'm going to put all the comments here so that you can see. I'm going to play some voice notes of sensible people that um, that explained everything to me. You understand? Bro, um, I see one video where um, Flower Boy post. That guy way in the bush. You better tell him. I don't know. He doesn't talk when they talk. Well. Follow that guy. Follow Flower Boy talk. Make him listen to what's in that guy they talk. That guy don't be fake pastor. Now be prophet. And they're watching this thing very well. He won't help their life. He, the guy they cry. You better tell him. I don't make poison or touchable at this Flower Boy. He can't cry for them. Make him look that. Follow Flower Boy talk. Make him find that guy. That part, a prophet of God. Where they see vision. Where they go. Where they deliver person. Follow Flower Boy Talk. I watch one of his videos. Tell him to listen to that guy. I don't know. I'm sorry for them. They really like their life. They listen to that guy. And they, they just bring a new person into their house and the person is there to poison them. Follow them. Talk. Maybe they listen to that guy and they should look for him. It's not, it's not when, when somebody just come and, and you start interacting with the person. Most times you have to know this person or the person has to come in a formal way. I came to the house and they were already arguing. They were already quarreling outside. You, you guys understand me. So please... Don't that if you are watching this video, I want you guys to share this video as many times as possible. If you are watching this video across the world, share it so that people will know, you understand? If you know his page, comment under this comment section as many times as possible. Tag him so that you can see this video. Then if wherever state you are, I can fly you straight to Lagos because currently I'm not in Enugu. I'm in Lagos. Where, where, anywhere you be, I feel bring you come. You understand? So that we can talk things out. You, you were saying... You were saying that um, you have a prophecy that somebody was trying to poison somebody. So we, we can still talk, you understand? You can still come, then we, we, we talk things out. Guys, please, please, I was not, I was not, I don't know how to put it. I mean, no, no, say the guy in a pastor, you understand? If not, I will not allow anybody to touch him, you get? But please, forgive me. I'm, I'm, I'm asking, so I'm, I'm asking for forgiveness. Please, don't that. If you have seen this video, wherever you are, please reach out to me or you drop your number in the comment section if anybody has his number in the comment section please drop it i'll be reaching out to him so i can bring him from anywhere he is let him come and meet me and untouchable so we'll talk you understand if god has sent a word god can speak through anybody you get god can speak through anybody i'm aware of that i know i, I know of that so if he if he's ready then i can bring him from anywhere he is let him come and let's talk thank you very much guys please keep watching my videos and keep sharing